You know, I see a lot of parents, every time their kids get in public, they yell at them, they get upset, they say, stop it, act this way, act that way. But how you raise them, how you treat them behind closed doors mm -hmm. is how they're going to act in public. So you can't raise them with anger and aggression and frustration and yell at them, tell them to shut up every single day and expect them to be who you want them to be in public. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. Like, however you bring them up is how they're going to behave. Mm -hmm. So they're going to treat their siblings that way. They're going to treat other people that way. They're going to treat their teachers that way. It's just, it's just, it's a cycle. Mm -hmm. You raise them with pain and damage and anger, they're going to grow up with pain damage and anger, then they're going to pass it down to their kids because they don't know how to revert themselves or get themselves out of that stage. Yeah. So basically, the same heart you raise your children with is the same heart they're going to love their children with because you're building and you're programming them. You don't get a new heart. So for the, for the mothers out there that, that may be raising young men, because that's who I do talk to a lot, like you can't tell your son to shut up. You can't tell your son to go sit in the corner. You can't belittle him. You can't act like he don't exist. You know, it's a quote that I always say, a, a boy with a low self-esteem grows to be a man with no self-esteem. So you are building them. You are educating them. You are programming them. Yes, they, they start out like this, five years old, but then they turn into 15-year-olds. So when he was this, this young, I gave him as many hugs. I gave him as much love. I gave him confidence. I gave him... Like just all of me and making sure his head was up and he was focused. And no, that don't guarantee he's going to grow up and be the greatest or the best because we all uh, we all are growing. So some, some of us may call it mistakes and life twists and turns, which every human being on the planet is going to have. But understand that you are pro programming the mind and the heart that you put in your son, that's the same heart he's going to raise his wife with. That's the same heart he's going to educate and value his children with. That's the same heart that he's going to love himself with. You don't grow up and grow a new heart. So it's another quote that says, let's raise children that won't have to recover from their childhood. Mm -hmm. So I'm a father and I'm recovering from my childhood. I was molested, didn't know how to read, didn't know how to write, foster homes, told I was going to be dead before I get 18 and... These were reoccurring things. You know, I didn't know who I was. I was invisible to myself growing up in so much pain, you know, but that pain educated me on how to be there, you know, on how to love and how to care. So me as a father said, I never wanted to be absent in my son's life. I always want to be there. I always want to show up. But the main message in this video is understand you're building that heart in your son. You're building his mind. You're building his everything. So a lot of women say, you know, this generation of men are horrible. They don't know how to love. They don't know how to, they don't have manners. They don't take care of their responsibilities. But who was in possession of the man when his heart was developing? You know, so I'm not blaming it on uh, single mothers or, you know, one parent alone. It's a, a community. And we have to understand that we are not enemies and we are not, a, we are not uh, opponents. And this is not a battle. But we need to learn how to love and we need to learn how to express these feelings and emotions. So it could go from mother to father to, to, to uh, young to son, to teenage son, to, to the younger son, you know. And for us fathers, we got to step up and we got to be there because when we're there, not only are we passing down lineage, legacy and information, the information that I put in him, he's able to share to his little brother. And this is why it's important for fathers to be there, to step up and to be present and not to allow your temptations or not to allow yourself and the frustration and depression and the anxieties and the trauma that comes with being a father allow you to disappear. Because I know all about the traumas and I know all about the depression and I know all about the pain that come with being a father. So it's so easy for us to tap out when we don't get that initial love or that initial boost. But, you know, you'll be surprised what will happen if you if you fight for for the life that you created, you know. So, I think that was great. Bye. Peace. Peace out, buddies.